a guy by the name of K. Carl Smith of Frederick Douglass Republicans was uh, giving a presentation at CPAC about how Republicans could more effectively reach out to minorities. Now, anybody who's familiar with uh, the polling data and uh, the information that came out of the last election, you all know that, it, look, Mitt Romney and the Republicans, they got their ass handed to them in every single minority demographic, right? Whether it be Asians or Hispanics or black people or, or you know, uh, gender politics, women, they just, they all said, uh, here's what we're not buying. Anything a Republican is selling, right? So it's a good idea to have somebody, you know, give a speech and, and talk about how you can more effectively reach out to the mar minority uh, groups. But no, 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 no. People in the audience, we're not buying it. This is awesome. Listen to this. Scott Terry, who is a member of the White Student Union at Towson University, began challenging Smith about the inclusion of blacks in the GOP's tent. Smith responded by citing a letter Fre Frederick Douglass wrote in which he forgave his former slave owner. Terry interrupted and said, forgive him for what? Feeding him and housing him? Several people in the audience gasped, and there were also some people who cheered. And then Terry muttered, quote, why can't we just have segregation? No, you can't make this stuff up, man. And there's actually a video of it on the internet. A whole bunch of different sites had it up. I was going to play it for you guys, but the sound quality is so bad that you hear a lot of background noise and it's not as clear. But listen to this. So after the exchange, Terry told The Guardian that he is a descendant of Confederate President Jefferson Davis. By the way, something I think he completely made up. He just wishes he was. Uh, and that he didn't totally disagree with slavery because it's, quote, a complicated issue, right? He said, quote, I can't make one broad statement that's categorically, it was all evil all the time, because that's not true. Yeah, don't you get it, you uh, silly blacks? Don't you get it that you got food and shelter? What's wrong with you? What do you, what, you want your freedom? <laughs> freedom schmeedum. Here's what I love. Try, do the thought exercise of imagining that this dumb schmuck, imagine he was black and he was uh, a slave when he was growing up. Or imagine, you know, uh, he got, uh, I don't know, traded into the sex, slave, uh, sex slavery tomorrow. But all of a sudden, he'd be saying, what? My captors feed me and clothe me. What? Why am I complaining? I should like this. God, these guys are amazing because they are just flat out incapable of putting themselves in anybody else's shoes, which is why they are tremendous morons. I, I can't stand these guys, man. So it reminds me of this great quote from Bill Maher. He said, I'd never say all Republicans are racist because that's not true. But if you are a racist, you're probably a Republican.